just something really simple. And this will help you with your don't box. I'm fired. I'm fired. Okay, so for the dope box, we're going to um, take a few minutes to write down the things that you do every day that are not actually producing any results for you. The things that you that don't make a difference when it comes to your to-do list or to the outcome of it, of your goals. So just things that in your everyday life kind of keep you from accomplishing what you want and taking too much of your time. So, does anybody have some things that take up their time that they could really... My children. What was that? My child. Or things that you can like, things that aren't important. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> Your children are kind of important. Just a little bit. Yeah, things that, I'm sorry, things that aren't important that you could do away with that'll help you. Do you? I have uh, texting, movies, and um, when my roommates come home, we all kind of sit around the table and we always end up sitting and playing cards, and three hours later, we're still playing cards and talking. So, yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Takes up a lot of time. Yeah. Anybody else? I spend like, I don't know, I have like a lot of, it's like I probably shouldn't be there as much, but I just go to the studio for like nothing, no reason sometimes. I don't even like do, sometimes I don't even do music, I'm just there. And it's just because I like, like being there, like the environment and hearing other people do stuff, but I probably shouldn't. should probably only go there when I'm really working on something. That would take a yeah. lot of my time, but. It gets into, in the, like it interferes with your schoolwork, yeah. you think? Yeah. 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 yeah no, I know it does. Because I'd rather do that, you know what I'm saying, than school work. But, yeah. But that's why you need to list, so you know what's important. Exactly. What's exactly. Anything else? Josh? Yeah, programming. Computer programming? Mm -hmm. Is I that just, what you're I, into? I spend too much time doing it. Really? And then so I just have to turn it off and get it to my homework and study. I'm just too focused on the programming. Yeah. Well, at least you're, you can focus on something. That's good. <laughs> Turn that into a job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, good. That's actually a benefit. I know for me, when I did this, the biggest thing for me is TV. Um, once I start watching TV, it's really easy to get sucked in and you get comfortable. And yeah, so I really try not to. We have the Comcast where you can record your programs now. <laughs> yeah. So I try to like get everything done in my list for the most part. You know, I'm not always successful, but I really try, and it it's for the most part it's it's good. But TV is my big downfall. So and it's Facebook too. Facebook's everything. So oh, yeah. yeah, big thing. But my computer's not working right now. It just stopped working today, so that's not good. What do I do? <laughs> okay. Um, so the last D is, oh no, there's another one. Delay. Sorry, it's not the last one. Delay. Um, the delay box, it kind of, it contains all the necessary pieces that together create the complete puzzle of, su of success and reaching your goals. Uh, make, sh make sure that your goal plan contains a catch-up week. Um, like if, for long-term goals especially. During catch-up week, you aim to do two things. You work um, work on the things that you haven't gotten around to doing and cross this off the things that are on your list that don't seem important anymore and eliminate them from your list. Letting go of tasks this way is really liberating and will give you the energy and positive mindset to move forward onto new and better things. And the very last D is delegate. Delegating is huge for me. Um, it can be tough to ask people to do things for you because we all try to think we can do everything on our own. Um, it just ask for help. Um, there's, for me, I've always had a hard time asking people for help. I try to do everything myself and I'm kind of getting better at that. Um, it takes a lot of time out of your day <laughs> to just give other people some responsibilities. It's kind of a control thing, I think, for me. So letting go of some of the control, too. 
Um, so far, anybody have questions so far? Are we good? <laughs> Okay, well I have um, a couple quotes that I came across that I really liked. Um, one of them about time management is, it's by H. Jackson Brown, and it says, don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to Helen Keller, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have the same amount of time. And another one that I really liked is um, one worthwhile task carried to a, success, a successful conclusion is worth half a hundred half finished tasks. Tasks. So good one. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Um, okay, so that's it for the three D, the four Ds. And then another thing that, for me, that goes with time management um, is kind of stress management. So I just want to give you some stress, man stress management tips and talk about that a little bit. So there we go, stress management tips. OK, these are all, I found a lot of them. These are the ones for me that I thought were great ones, like, um, of course, <laughs> sleep well, get a good night's rest. I think it helps with my stress. Um, try to eat healthy. Get your, it just, for me. Um, listen to your favorite music. I think that relieves stress. Exercise or, you know, do a fun activity with your kids or whoever. Um, plan out your time and prioritize, just like time management. <clears throat> I'm, Talk to a friend about your problems. Don't hold it in. Okay, this is my favorite one. Get a massage. <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> is that when you get your rewards? <laughs> what? Is that, is that when you get your rewards? That, that's one of them, yeah. <laughs> Good reward. Yeah, but the schools, they do cheap massages. Mm -hmm. that are, they do a really good job. Um, if you have time, I know a lot of people don't, but take a quick nap. <laughs> a warm bath. I like baths. Mm -hmm. Um, read a book or watch TV. I like to walk my dog when I'm feeling stressed out. I like to take him for walks. And smile. Always <laughs> Even if you're faking it, smile. Um, anybody else have any other stress tips that? Yeah. yeah. Um, what I find on there, mm -hmm. um, like uh, reading a book or um, taking a nap, mm -hmm. that affects my time. Cause I will um, overkill it. Yeah. And so that stress, no stress management tips sort of affect the time and like too. So so you gotta balance it out, right? Yeah, that's true. I know. Are you the kind that you can take like a quick power nap and be okay? No, unless if I set my alarm clock. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good night. Something something I often do is remind myself of something somebody told me a long time ago that almost nothing is as bad or as good as it first seems. True. So when I'm in the middle of something that seems very terrible or really great, if it's really great then I'll go ahead and let go, but if it seems to be really terrible I try to think ahead. Oh, that's a good idea. So it tends to reduce the stress. Yeah. I remember for myself, um, in the winter time, it's really cold, but I like to throw a fire in the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Reverse mm -hmm. water spells, maybe. Oh, yeah. Or hot dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can, like your camping? Oh, yeah. I do a foil <laughs> bake on the top because it's mm -hmm. a flat metal surface. And I do ham, potatoes, and onions and roast them all together. Caramelize everything. Mm -hmm. and put <coughs> cheese Sounds on. good. Yeah, then just wrap it in foil. Because I, yeah. I can sit and read or do whatever because I don't have to worry about it. We're not in the stove. It's a slow cooking process. Yeah. Dutch oven work really well for that, too. Yeah. I do that outside in a, like, pot roast or something. So then it gives me eight hours to do whatever I want because I don't have to worry about dinner because it's going to take about eight or nine hours of slow cooking. So um, I can just put it in there and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you put vegetables on the bottom of the pan too, so you don't burn it. Oh yeah. Because yeah. it burns, cooks fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Slow cooker is oh. awesome for steaming. Yeah. 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 Oh, I guess 
said that one of the best stress management techniques they found is, and one of the best ways to combat depression is to look at family photographs. Really? Not my family. Mm -mm. Oh, that ain't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some of us have in those pictures that are probably more stressful than the stress we're going through. You probably want to choose happy family photographs. Can I understand it? But I could see how that would, you know, like if I were to pull out pictures of my grandkids yeah. and mm -hmm. things like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what I do. I will call up my granddaughter and, you know, what are you doing in math? Well, I'm doing this. And how's your paper? Oh, my paper's fine. So it's kind of nice to stick on each other. Yeah. It's crazy. My daughter, who just graduated on Friday, but I'm in algebra and she's like, Mom, I did that in like eighth grade. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> Any questions? No? So, um, is, it, is it the nostalgia of pulling up the photos? Uh, I don't know. I think it's probably the, the sense of warmth and our family. We like to recollect happy times. Mm -hmm. I know, I mean, I have photographs on my iPod oh. touch that I can look at. Not that I usually get depressed, but if I pull those out, Look at my children when they were three and four years old. It's just always mm -hmm. uplifting. <coughs> yeah, I keep an extra video of my daughter. I mean, I have my kids. That's what helps me. Like roller skating, so I have mm -hmm. that on my phone. Mm -hmm. So, so chuckle for the day. <laughs> if um, you haven't looked, if if there's a picture stored away somewhere, a uh, binders of pictures stored away somewhere, and you have looked at them and. Uh, about six years or seven years, I probably have a bigger impact of, more bigger impact than looking at the same photo over and over again, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and most people don't take pictures of bad times, usually. <laughs> 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 It's going to be a verbal quiz. Okay. okay. I'm just going to, because I have the question written down, but I don't want to give you that in full text. Okay. Yeah, put that down. All right, you guys. How's